Alright, guys, alright, so what we're gonna do, we have the list of every single main weapon that's in this game. I'm going to show you this list. Right, right here, showing you this list right now. We have every single one. So we're gonna go through all of these and I'm gonna try and give a brief opinion about all of them, all right? At the start of Splatoon 3, every single weapon should be coming out. There'll only be one variant for every single weapon that's coming out, okay? The Splatoon Schematic with Curling Bomb, Ultra Stamp. Good kit, really, really good kit. Curling Bomb works with Splatoon Schematic. Ultra Stamp works with it really well. Like the Splatoon 7, that's good. I really like that. Uh, Splasher Junior. Splat Bomb, Big Bubbler, uh, Support Weapon, 100%, uh, Splat Bomb, Roll the Bomb Around, Big Bubbler, you're going to be using this for your teammates most of the time, that's going to be great. Flash, a Matic, Burst Bomb, Cramp Tank, uh, the kit basically got changed unless there's a Neo variant that has Zipcaster. Burst Bomb's always been really good for Splash a Matic, so that's always good. Complements uh, long range stuff, close range stuff really well. Crab tank makes it so that long range stuff is also really good, so that's great. This weapon's going to be really good. Uh, Aerospray, Fizzy Bomb, Reef Slider. Uh, Aerospray farms Reciter, that's gonna be good. Fizzy Bomb, one of the best bombs in the game. Uh, it's gonna also be helping for farming special as well. And uh, getting some pretty solid kills with Fizzy Bomb is also really nice too. And I think the Fizzy Bomb too, with the, the lines that you can make with it, that's gonna be complementing Aerospray really well too. It's gonna be like a curling bomb in that sense too, so that's gonna, that's really good. That's also really good, Suction Bomb Trizuka. Uh, I mean, that's the Tender Tech Spider Shop that we know from uh, Splatoon 1. That's great. Can't really see anything, say anything bad about that. Trizuka may be a little bit weaker, but obviously if you hit your shots, you're good. Paints a lot at the same time. That's great. 52 gal Splash Rules Killer Whale 5.1. That's great as well. Obviously, this is Splatoon 1 kind of shindig. Splash Rules has always been good with 52 gal. It's from Splatoon 1 and Kenza 52 gal from Splatoon 2. Uh, Killer Whale 5.1. We've seen it in Turf War Trail. It's been really good. Uh, like an assistant kind of weapon, so... That's pretty decent. Ends up Suction Bomb Tacticooler. We've seen some footage about the Tacticooler and that's amazing. Suction Bomb is great for Ends up. This weapon's gonna be super aggro, 100%. It's gonna be support, but super aggro. Tacticooler, you put it down uh, a player who takes the, the soda thing. They respawn in about, I'd like to say one to four seconds. Obviously the animation of like respawning takes like one second, but the actual respawn is like four seconds, so. That's pretty dang good. Cool. Splash Up Pro, you've seen my gameplay. If you haven't, you should check the description below. So, angle shoot a crab tank. Angle shoot is basically a railgun. Not gonna lie, you, you you hit someone like twice, you railgun them afterwards. If they try to run while you hit them twice, you railgun them afterwards. Oh yeah, crab tank, of course, with Splash Up Pro. Really, really good. You've seen the gameplay too. Uh, makes it, like, it gives it like a safer option to get, think, get in, even though it has a lot more range. Uh, or a lot of range anyway, so it doesn't really matter. 96 gal, sprinkler and ink vac. Uh, decent kit, ink vac. I mean, obviously, I haven't get, I haven't got the chance to use the ink vac myself. I don't think there's been many people who's got the chance to try and use it, but we'll just have to see how good that really is. I'd love to see how it is, but yeah, sprinkler kind of underwhelming. Maybe they buff sprinkler in this game, but who knows? We'll have to see. Jet sculpture, angle shooter, ink vac. This might work pretty well for the jet. You're probably gonna have to three shot things a lot more, but the angle shooter, I mean, obviously, railgun. If anyone's weak, you railgun them from afar or mark them. One of the two. But in vacuum, that's probably gonna be really good for it. The, the Jack Scotch's own defense if anybody gets, gets close to him, so you got that going for him too. So, not bad, honestly. Luna Blaster, Splat Bomb, Zipcaster. To be honest, Zip Luna Blaster is gonna be so goddamn strong in this game with Zipcaster. I think it makes sense for the weapon, it's great. Slap Bomb's always been good with Luna Blaster. Zip Caster, you get close to anyone, you shoot up anybody. It's crazy. Yeah, you got that going for it. Blaster, if you've seen my test range video, you probably should. It goes ham, not gonna lie. If you've seen my test range video, the Blaster's a mal buff. It's like, how do I even describe it? The Blaster has better at jump RNG, so that's good in itself. Auto Bomb, eh. Lackluster Bomb, not gonna lie. Big Bubbler with this weapon. Really, really good. I think the blast is gonna be able to play off the, its own big bubbles really, really well as well. It reminds me a lot of the custom blaster from Splatoon 1. If you guys have been here for that long and seen my gameplay some custom blaster, yeah, I go off. I go off for that. I'm gonna love that blaster, so that's gonna be great. Uh, range blaster. This is a new kit that I don't think many of us, many of many of us have seen. Suction bomb and wave breaker. That's pretty damn good. Wave breaker and on a range blaster seems really good. Suction bomb. Eh, prefer a burst bomb, obviously, but suction bomb might not be so bad for it either. So we can, I can kind of take that. Pretty good. I think the wave breaker with that, that makes people jump. It's going to be really, really easy to capitalize anybody who's standing in, the, in their wave breaker. So Clash Blaster, Splat Bomb, Trizuka, Clash Blaster, 
bomb is actually really decent. Trizuka, eh, no crab tank like it did have before, but eh, Trizuka, that's okay, I guess. Aggressive long range option, that's that's also still good. So it doesn't make it horrible. I would like to see a Clash Blaster Burst Bomb though, maybe next time. Uh, Rapid Blaster, Ink Mine, Triple Ink Strike. Ink Mine, eh, Triple Ink Strike. Yeah, that's pretty decent. That's good. I can see it having that. I feel like it could be so much better than that, dude. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> uh, Rapid Blaster Pro, Toxic Mist. Yes! Toxic Mist Rapid Blaster Pro, we do love to see that. Toxic Mist Rapid Blaster Pro and Ink Vacuum. Hmm, I love that. You Toxic Mist someone, charge your Ink Vac uh, by anybody else, and then you shoot that into the ink into the Toxic Mist as well. That's nuts. I like that. <laughs> I really, really like that one, dude. Uh, L3 Nozzle Nose, Curling Bomb Crab Tank. Curling Bomb, we've seen before, decent. Crab Tank, that's just gonna help it with its extra, like give it a little bit extra range. Protect it a couple of times uh, if you're rolling into anything. You can kind of just roll yourself into places, it's kind of nice. Because uh, the, the shield for the cramp tag is pretty, basically invincible, so that's that's something. H3, point sensor tactic cooler. Not gonna lie, I don't like it having point sensor. I, there could be any other sub weapon it could have, rather it not be point sensor. Tactic cooler is always is nice though. You can probably like uh, charge this up pretty fast. Yeah, you got that going for it. Yeah, point sensors are in the game, so yeah, you got that going. We got that going for us too. A bit unfortunate, but it is what it is, right? Squeezer? Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Squeezer Slash Wall Trizuka. Holy, dude. Oh my god, that's amazing. I haven't actually taken a good look at that. Squeezer Slash Wall Trizuka. Wow. So the squeeze is already accurate as it is. Slash Wall is going to make it stronger, and it's always been strong with the, the wall. But it had the Stingray before, but the Trizuka... That's a brilliant combination. Oh my word, dude. I love that. I love that. That's a, that's, that's a top tier kit already, dude. I'm just saying that's a top tier kit already. The squeezer might not paint that much, but that's 100% top tier kit already. I'm, I'm telling, I'm calling it now. That's, that's, that's insane. Carbon Roller, Auto Bomb Zip Caster. I can see it having a zip cast and that's fine. Auto Bombs just, that sucks. Would have been way better with a Burst Bomb, 100%. Maybe a carbon, there'll be a carbon that gets a Burst Bomb, but just a different sub weapon. But damn, that, that's a little bit unfortunate. The Zipcaster will still do well with this weapon though, so we'll give it that. Splat Roller, Curling Bomb, and Big Bubbler. Curling Bomb has always been amazing with Splat Roller. Yep, Big Bubbler, that's really helpful for Roller in general, just to get it out of situations. Also, since I haven't, like, I don't think many people have really been talking about it. If you know how the Big Bubbler gets deployed, you can't throw it. It's like the Big Bubbler, when you use it, it gets deployed wherever you're standing. Like, it, like you use it and it just gets put up. You know, so you can't like hold it and throw it into a certain area. It just like gets put up just cause, so. Dynamo, uh, if you've seen my test range video, Dynamo, it has a little less ink. Like it's ink efficiency is a little less, but it seems like it's flick is a little, little bit more consistent. So that's, it's still, it's got that going for it. Sprinkler Dynamo, yeah, we've seen that quite a lot before. Tacticula, yeah, that's gonna be great. Support weapon, 100% support, long range support, I'd say. You're gonna have to stack a bunch of ink saver main on this thing though, dude, 100%. I think it's it's gonna need it. That tactical though, four second response, and the tactical the, the tactical how long it lasts too. It lasts for a really goddamn long time, dude. It lasts for a ridiculous amount of time. So, yeah, you got that going for it too. Uh, Flings are roller, ink mine, and tender missile. Ink mine's a little weird. Well, actually, no, it's not that weird to be honest. It's something that you watch clients with. That's not, that's not gonna be so bad for flings are roller. Tender missiles, yeah, th this weapon can build up tender missiles pretty fast. Uh, not too many people use the flings are roller too, but if you really want to die hard and use uh, tender missiles, I think that's gonna be your option or one of your main options. Uh, ink brush, slap bomb, killer whale. Slap bomb's always been amazing for ink brush, and I love that. Killer whale 5.1, that's gonna make people move uh, in any sort, sort of close range situation, so that's gonna be super annoying, especially if you're playing against a brush. So, damn, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, Octobrush, suction bomb, zip caster. Oh my god, yep, we love to see that. We've seen that, of course, in the Turf War trailer already. Suction bomb's always a good sub. Zip caster with this kind of weapon works pretty damn well. Uh, classic Swiffer. Point sensor, big bubbler. Point sensor again, a little underwhelming, but it is what it is. Big bubbler. Yeah, big bubbler, squiffer. Yeah, I can see that. It's a long range weapon that has big bubbler, so that's really good. But it's a sniper at the same time, so that's good. I guess the point sensor helps the squiffer just to like make sure you know exactly where people are so you can like play off it a little bit, but yeah, that's kind of about that's a, that's about it, honestly, in my opinion. Splat charger, splat bomb, and ink vacuum. To be honest, I got not really much to say about the splat charger. Like other than, like if you're hitting your shots, you're good, it's fine. 
Uh, Ink Vanku, maybe. I'm not too sure about that on the Splat Charger. I feel like there could be better options, but maybe it's a good thing just to defend yourself and all that. Elita, Ink Mine, Wave Breaker. I like that it has Wave Breaker. That's great. Since I've seen how Wave Breaker has been thrown, it doesn't seem like you can even throw it that far, but I guess it is what it is. Ink Mine's always just been good for watching flanks, so that's going to be good for Elita. Uh, maybe the Wave Breaker will be good just to, like, probably for Elita. Maybe it's just good for defense, too. Like, you just throw it around you, and then, like, uh, you use it, like, as an extra thing just to be annoying. So, and the Wave Breaker lasts for, like, 8 seconds, too, so. Bamboozler, Autobomb, Killer Whale 5.1, Killer F Whale 5.1 is decent. Autobomb, I, I'm sorry, I'm not too much of a fan of Autobomb. But maybe it helps the Bamboo just to locate where people are, so that's still pretty dang good, so... I guess we can go with that. That's that's cool. Gootuber. Haha. <laughs> All right. Gootu oh my god. No, you know what? I'm not going to lie, guys. A lot of people have been saying the Gootuber is lol. It has 10 missiles. It's not going to be that good. But a lot of people don't understand that, okay, Torpedo is really good for a Gootuber, I'd say. 10 missile is also really damn good for Gootuber because Gootuber is one of the best painting charges in the game. If you guys didn't know from Splatoon 2, the Gootuber paints insanely goddamn well. <laughs> I think we should be very scared about that because this thing will be able to charge a special dang really dang quick. Do not sleep on this weapon. Do not sleep on it. Especially how fast it's going to be able to spam these tender missiles. I'm just saying. Obviously, you still have to hit your shots. I I don't think anybody knows how the GooTubers like charge times are. But yeah, it says 200, 200p for missiles. Okay. That paint though, it's going to paint so quickly. You know, you might not be using this just to, to, to snipe with it. You're using it just for the kit. The torpedo tenement. That's annoying. I think that's that's something to still watch for. Slusher, Splat Bomb, Triple Ink Strike. God, this is good. Splat Bomb with Slusher is great. Triple Ink Strike, amazing. I like that. It's, this is also spammable. I'm just also saying from how the Slusher feels in, in the test range. Slusher feels really good. Slusher feels like really, really good in the test range. So I can see this being really good just in general. Try Slusher, Toxic Missing Jet. Uh, I like this kit. I think Toxic Mist is really underrated. Toxic Mist, you slow down almost anybody. You can just swatch them with the tri or you can Or you can throw Toxic Mist from afar, slow someone down, shoot them with the inkjet. You know? I think you can do com like some pretty cool combinations with that. So that's going to be still pretty dang sick. Slosher Machine, Fizzy Bomb, and Booyah Bomb. So yeah, Slosher Machine, Fizzy Bomb. We already know Slosher Machine, Fizzy Bomb is great. Machine Meta, great. Yep, Booyah Bomb. Doesn't have Splashdown anymore, guys. You Do you like that? Oh my god, Splash no more Splashdown in, uh, it for, for Slosher Machine. That's sick. That's actually dope, dude. They've made a really good kit for the Slosher Machine, so yeah. I mean, it depends on, of course, how good the Booyah Bomb is in, uh, in, in Splatoon 3. I didn't get to try it, unfortunately, because I didn't want to play the Hydra Spiling, but yeah, I think there's a lot to look forward to with uh, this kit. I think that's going to be a good kit. Blah Blah Blah, Sprinkler, Inkstorm. Meh. Sprinkler, eh. Inkstorm. Yeah, I like Inkstorm, not gonna lie. I to be honest, I prefer Blob Lobber with Wall, dude. They could have just kept the same kills, fine. I kind of don't like it with Sprinkler anymore, dude. I, I think I think it makes it worse with Sprinkler. We'll have to see. Maybe the Blob Lobber is better. Maybe the bu the bubbles are from it are better, but I don't know. Explosure, Point Sensor, Ink Storm. Explosure is going to be good. The, the weapon itself is great. Point Sensor, ah, I'd rather something else. Ink Storm, I guess. To be honest, it's not so bad. Ink Storm, Ink Storm Explosion is not so bad. I just think the sub weapon kind of lets it down. But give me a Burst Bomb, dude. Come on. Mini Splatling, Burst Bomb Ultra Stamp. That's like the regular Mini Splatling with the Cancer variant in Splatoon 2. That's actually kind of cool. It's like a good mix of that. Burst Bomb will help it in its close range situations. Ultra Stamp will help it in its close range situations too. Probably a weapon would just be able to fight a whole lot more. Uh, in many different ways. So I think that combination of, is uh, very, very strong for it. Heavy Splatling, Sprinkler, Wave Breakers. Heavy Splatling, eh, throw away the Sprinkler, dude. Wave Breaker, yeah, that's decent. I like that. Actually, to be honest, with Heavy heavy Splatling with Sprinkler, it probably makes more sense because a lot of the time you're not really throwing a bomb with a Splatling. So I think it probably makes sense just to like, help it to farm and just get some paint down. So actually, it might, might not even that be that bad. So I think that's going to be good. Uh, Hydra Splatling, we've seen this before. I've seen it before. I've seen it before, of course. Order Bomb, Booyah Bomb. Booyah Bomb is sick for Hydra Splatling. Booyah Bomb is really sick for Hydra Splatling, actually. Order Bomb, eh. I guess for like, just to be annoying, throw so, so, throw a bomb. You can, you can do that. But the Hydra Splatling Booyah Bomb, that kind of reminds me of like the Remix Splatling, you know? I think that's that's pretty damn cool. Yeah, I like that. That's good. That's a good combination. Uh, Bullpoint, Bullpoint Fizzy Bomb Inkjet. Oh, that's weird. I haven't got the chance. I didn't get the chance to use the the Bullpoint uh, during my time playing uh, Splatoon Three. Unfortunately, really. But um, Fizzy Bomb with it is kind of odd. 
I think the bull point works a whole lot better without a bomb, to be honest. Unless it's a burst bomb, then we'll, we then we can talk. We can talk about anything if it has a burst bomb. I'm not too sure about that one. Inkjet, yeah, cool. In inkjet, bull point, decent, but eh. Fizzy bomb, I'm not too sure about that, dude. Nautilus, point sensor, ink storm. <laughs> Rest in peace, Nort mains. Uh, point sensor, eh. I guess, I guess. To be honest, you don't even really use the sub weapon for a Nautilus. So maybe point sensor might be okay, but okay, it's gonna make it easier to, to relocate people. This is basically the pro kit, the splash up pro kit with, um, but with Nautilus in Splatoon, from, from Splatoon 2, so. To be honest, I don't think it's that bad. Inkstorm is not that bad. I, I live and die by Inkstorm, all right? I think it's okay. I think Inkstorm is not so bad as uh, some might say it might be. Dapples, Dapple Dooleys, Squid Beacon, Tacticula. Ooh, that's actually pretty decent. Bro, wait, no, that's good. That's really good for Dapples because you are gonna be this annoying freak who's running around putting squid beacons everywhere and then throwing tacticulas everywhere. You give your tacticula to almost everyone. They die, they jump back to the squid beacons. Annoying freak. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. That's actually not that that's actually not that bad. That's a feeding that's a feeding kit. I mean the weapon, <laughs> that sucks, but sorry guys. <laughs> the weapon could be better, of course, but that's that's a good kit for this weapon. So bolt dapple, honestly, yeah, it's, it's the engineer. <laughs> The engineer, the, the engineer kit, dude. Imagine. I love how you guys describe it like that, dude. That's crazy. Splat dually, suction bomb, crab tank. That's cool. I think that's a that's a solid kit, honestly. No burst bomb, but crab tank's always gonna be good for any sort of uh, close range weapon that doesn't have, uh, of course, long range options. So yeah, that's gonna be good. Gluga dually, splash wool, and booyah bomb. The Kent's a 52 gal variant, so it's a it's actually it's a gluga. A wool has been always good for gluga. Booyah bomb. I think that's gonna make it better. Like be able to like put more pressure on some certain areas. I think you could be able to play off it a little bit better too. Like throw it down somewhere and then kind of roll into it something. So the K52 gal got enough. They gave it to the, the kit to Gluger instead. Oh my God. All right, this is a good one. Dooley Scorchers with Splat Bomb and Wave Raker. The Splat Bomb's great for Dooley Scorcher. Wave Raker, oh my God. All right, you're gonna be in situations. You're gonna be throwing the Wave Raker down. You're gonna be making people jump close range, dude. You're gonna be right in their face. And then you're gonna, at the same time, they're gonna be trying to shoot at you. But you're gonna be rolling around because you're a dually scorcher. Can you imagine that? That's crazy. Like, think about it. Like, you're a dually scorcher, you roll around just because you can. You throw the rave breaking down, you're making people jump. And you're fighting them mid to long range, too, dude. That's that's actually nuts. That's actually really crazy. Uh, Tetra Dulies, Ultra Bomb Reef Cider. Uh, Tetra Dulies. I think Tetra Dulies in this game is gonna be really good. Also, I think Reef Cider. This is literally the death kit, dude. This is literally like the zombie weapon. Uh, you're gonna always be wanting to, to pair this with a tactical, 100%. Your resides in there are always gonna be free, 100%. Resides are gonna be free all the time. Can't tell me otherwise. Auto bomb, eh, that sucks, but I mean, auto bomb can always be good sometimes. They get some free kills sometimes, but I think there's always better bombs out there. I think every other bomb is always better, so. Flatbrella, sprinkler, triple ink strike, that's decent. I mean, we could have a better bomb, but triple ink strike is always good. Sprinkler, that's gonna charge us to your special a lot faster. And I really wish I got to try to how the brother works. Like if the canopy sh or the, the if, if the brother's shield is actually bigger, because maybe it is bigger in uh, in this game too. So we'll just have to wait and see. Tentabrella, oh my god, toxic kit. All right, Squid Beacon. If you've seen the test range video that I post, put it up. You know the Tentabrella has a much, much larger shield. It's huge. Uh, Ink Vacuum pairing it up with this thing. You're going to be walking with your Tentabrella or Tentabrella shield. You're going to be sucking up any ink that anybody tries to shoot at your Tentabrella and it's going to be a free Ink Vacuum shot every single time. And of course, you can put beacons anywhere you want. So pair this up with a tactical and it, that's that's going to be some power right there, dude. Ends up, ends up Tentabrella. I, I I can see it happening, dude. Ends up, ends up Tentabrella. That's going to be that's gonna be a comp, 100%. Undercover brother, Ink Mine, Ink Mine Reef Slider. Okay, that's weird. Just give it a bomb, burst bomb. Give this weapon a burst bomb, dude. Give this weapon a burst bomb, it fixes all of its problems. Burst bomb, Reef Slider, that would've been good. There, there could be so much better than this, dude. Not gonna lie, I think there could be so much better. Or Torpedo, honestly, yeah. I, I'm a little underwhelmed with that kit, but we'll just have to wait and see. A Tri Stringer, Toxic Mist, Killer Whale 5.1. We've, we've talked about so much about the Tri Stringer already, dude talked about it so much we've seen it a whole bunch of times so i don't know if we really need to talk about this too much but like you can throw the toxibus at people slows them down you jump shoot finish them off with the the tri stringer and that's gonna be good splatana stamper burst bomb zip caster to be honest we don't even really know too much about the splatana stamper they say it's the heavy splatana weapon this is just gonna be like a, a a big surprise when it actually comes out in splatoon 3 so we'll just have to see uh zip caster i mean i could see zip caster being good with any sort of splatana as long as like you can get close enough to people uh we got that go for it and of course lastly the splatana wiper i've talked about the splatana wiper on my channel a couple of times two videos already because i've got the 
gameplay video of it and of course my analysis of it too so we got the, we have it has torpedo ultra stamp which is uh pretty decent i think you've seen this in my gameplay if you've watched it already you throw the torpedo and you basically just kind of use your long range option to kind of like annoy them and finish them off ultra stamp eh it's all right if you're good with ultra stamp you'll excel with this and i think any person who uses Spatana wiper they'll be good with it too so that is pretty much all the weapons guys that's all the weapons Make sure to subscribe because your boy is going to be playing the test fire tomorrow, all right? Tomorrow, because I'm pretty sure I've gotten all my Splatoon 3 videos out by now. I should do. If I don't, then that's crazy. But make sure to subscribe. Follow me on Twitch and Twitter, both in the description below. Do it for both of your opinion generous. Make sure to hit the bell notification button uh, next to the subscription button. Uh, make sure to join the public Discord as well. We're going to be doing a bunch of Splatoon 3 stuff because that's going to be a crazy. Also notifies you for whenever I go live for a Twitch stream, so that's also great. But yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I shall see you guys in a future one. Kurt up, damn.